Over half the NBA season is in the books, and with the trade deadline now behind us, there are limited options for teams to still find perhaps a missing piece to complete their championship puzzle. CBS Sports national columnist Bill Ryder is in Los Angeles and joins us now. Bill, the biggest move at the trade deadline, the Pelicans, making the trade for DeMarcus Cousins. It's early, so it's the honeymoon period, and we all know that DeMarcus Cousins did not do well when it came to getting along with everyone in Sacramento. So should fans of the Pelicans be worried about him meshing with Anthony Davis? I, Dana, I wouldn't be worried just yet. They have lost their first three games. They'll be fair to the Pelicans. One of those games against the Rockets, the other against the Thunder. And as a gentle reminder to Pelicans fans who are already starting to freak out a little bit on social media, LeBron and Dwayne Wade started 9-8 and eight that first year LeBron <laughs> went to Miami. They had a much better supporting cast. And even Kevin Durant and this Warriors team lost their first game together earlier this season by almost 30 points. I think it's going to be just fine, Dana, but you're right. It's going to take a little while. The honeymoon period is going to take some time before these two guys gel on the floor. Yeah, and LeBron and Dwayne Wade oh, went back and were friends, so they even had the relationship already. They didn't need to right. build one. And speaking of LeBron, the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they're, st they're atop the East right now, but still kind of looking to do better and add some depth. Who are they looking at right now? Yeah, and LeBron James, obviously, Dana, have been very clear this year. He's not satisfied with the roster, even though they are the best team in the Eastern Conference by a pretty wide margin. The two big names they're looking at, Darren Williams, the point guard who was just let go uh, by, the, by Dallas, and Andrew Bogut. Two pretty nice additions. Those are guys that fit what LeBron wanted, particularly D. Will, a point guard who's a pretty good shooter and would fit into the needs that the King has said to his front office, he wants sooner rather than later. LeBron James never seems happy with the roster that he has now. <laughs> um, but, you know, they are atop the East. Mm. Who are they afraid of? They've got Boston behind them, Toronto also. But it, when you think of those names, Darren Williams, even Andrew Bogut, I guess who are they most afraid of and what are they trying to accomplish here? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, Dana, I don't think it's what makes LeBron's reactions this year so perplexing. I don't think they're afraid of anybody in the Eastern Conference. Maybe the Boston Celtics had Boston made a move for Boogie for DeMarcus Cousins, had they made a move for Paul George. But obviously that didn't happen. I think the one team that LeBron fears, the one team that the Cavs are worried about talking to sources in their front office is on the other side of the country in the other conference, the Golden State Warriors, and certainly Darren Williams and Andrew Bogut would be pretty nice pieces against that team in particular, the one team that really, on paper at least, is good enough to beat this Cavs squad. Yeah, and by the way, we're both going to get into trouble with every athlete out there when we said afraid, because we know <laughs> players are never afraid of anybody <laughs> else. They're never afraid. Only we are. Bill Ryder, thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks, Dana.